Okay, so another shootout uh, on the bottom there. On the left, we've got the Steam Deck, basic Steam Deck. Uh, it's got a 512 gig SSD, but you'll know the specs. I'll put them in the comments anyway. And uh, above it, or to the right, is a Mac Mini uh, M2 processor with 8 gigs of RAM. So Steam Deck has 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, Steam Deck is um, quite old now, and it's really geared towards graphics-intensive uh, gaming. Um, and, of course, has a decent GPU, which uh, FL Studio won't make use of. So not expecting great things, but let's see how we go anyway. Let's kick them off. If I can line them up. Here we go. And out of the blocks, we've got 23% processor for the Steam Deck versus 23% uh, for the Mac Mini M2. So even Stevens, now at 24 versus 22. I'll give you the Steam Deck first, always. Uh, still 24, 25 versus the Mac Mini now 22, 23. So the Mac Mini M2 having to work slightly less hard, but the Steam Deck doing very well uh, by comparison uh, with FL Studio. Um, we'll have to wait to the faster section again, as I said before, to see if that has an impact. Still 22 down to 20 for the Steam Deck versus 21 for the Mac Mini at the same point. So Mac Mini is pretty much even Stevens actually, there's 1% in it at the moment. Um, it's building up now, um, and let's see if that makes a difference. Um, now looking at 34, 33, 34 for the Steam Deck versus 27 for the Mac Mini, 28 for the Mac Mini. So Mac Mini not having to work quite as hard um, for the, at this point. 42 for the Steam Deck versus 31 for the Mac Mini. So the Mac Mini Again, not having to use all its processing power. The Steam Deck having to work a bit harder at this stage. 44% um, now for the Steam Deck processor use versus 33% processor use for the Mac Mini in FS Studio. So Mac Mini as expected, I guess. It's a very, it's a very powerful M2 processor. Um, so it, it's pretty much going to um, rise above the issues that FL Studio has a Windows background uh, and was ported to Mac. Certainly runs extremely well on the Mac, uh, considering that. Um, the Steam Deck has to, let me just, uh, let's just try and stop the match so I can speak. Steam Deck obviously um, doing a great job and uh, perfectly usable. It's, it's, it's a nice OLED display actually, so even without an external display, which I think I had on the previous uh, test for the uh, Steam Deck, um, it's actually very usable. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let me just bring it over so you can see it in detail. Um, now you do want more real estate when you're playing around, or, you know, but certainly if you were on a flight or something like that, or on a train or on a bus, there's stuff you could do with a pair of headphones and a Steam Deck and FL Studio. So uh, good going, actually. Thanks very much for your time. If you enjoyed that, please uh, give this video a like and subscribe if you want to get more videos or more comparison videos like this or videos about uh, music control services, etc. Um, thanks very much for your time. I'll leave it there.